Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Living Local, your lifestyle show for all things Charleston and beyond. I'm Ashley Missouri. It's Medical Monday here at East Cooper Medical Center and today we're sitting down with a low country bariatric surgeon to learn about some of the most popular procedures for those looking to lose weight. Medical Monday sponsored by East Cooper Medical Center. Joining us today, we have Dr. Washington. He's a bariatric surgeon here at East Cooper Medical Center. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, today we're talking about options for weight loss. Yes, right? so, so there, are, there are several options for weight loss today, uh, both non-surgical and surgical, but we'll go over the surgical ones. So um, I want first everyone to understand that all of these, these uh, operations are done minimally invasively. The days of having to make a, a big incision um, in the past, such as this, um, are over. You know, we used to have to make big incisions to do these operations, but now we can do them through tiny little incisions and we actually insert cameras into, the, uh, into your belly to actually do these operations. But what that means is that most patients can go home the next day after these operations, whereas prior they were in the uh, hospital for a week recovering from the surgeries. So the minimally invasive uh, using cameras inside the belly has been a, a very big advantage to doing uh, weight loss surgery. So are you having to be in there like a, moving all these tools like a video game type right. deal it's, when it, you're in there? It's, it's somewhat like a video game. Gotcha. Yes, yes. but the benefit is, uh, is remarkable. Patients get up you know, two or three hours after the operation and walk around and feel pretty good, maybe just a little bit sore, whereas prior they could, you know, had needed like help to get out of bed and could hardly you move. could get infections right. and stuff and, like that and of course it decreases because the wounds are so small they mm -hmm. rarely rarely get infected all right so what what's the another the first process or procedure that you want to talk about that's oh. available here i can grab these for you sure thank you well the first one i'm going to talk about is the gastric bypass and the gastric bypass has been done the longest in the united states and, we, and many people feel it is the gold standard to which we compare every, all other operations. It's kind of uh, fallen out of favor a little bit because we do have newer operations uh, called the sleeve gastrectomy that's kind of taken its place. But just briefly, the gastric bypass creates a little pouch. We uh, connect the intestine to the little pouch and reconnect it here. And how it works is when you eat this little pouch, which is only a fraction the size of your normal stomach, it makes you feel full faster, and as it passes down the intestines, it creates a little malabsorption of your food. So what's the success rate, I mean, with this well, particular yeah. one? Gastric bypass patients, on average, lose between 60 and 80% of their excess weight. Wow. So it's very successful when you compare uh, the weight loss drugs, which are like, you know, 10% of your mm -hmm. excess weight, and diet and exercise, which, you know, maybe you'll get off five to 10% of your excess weight, but most patients regain it. So these operations have been the only proven uh, long-term weight loss success. The only thing that's been proven to work. And, but also this is a lifestyle change, right? Cause well, I mean, you don't, well, you can't just get it and then well, think well, you can go back to. Well, you know, it's, you know, I look at obesity as a lifelong illness. Okay. It's not that we're going to do these operations and miraculously that you know you're going to be free of obesity for the rest of your life. Um, we know that it takes uh, patients to you know follow up appropriately and be involved okay and uh, follow their dietary and behavioral modifications to have long-term success and because of that you know we have a comprehensive program here at East Cooper okay which is going to um, <clears throat> entail having support groups Okay, which meet once a month that we encourage our patients to attend to keep them motivated and to keep them involved. They say when you do bariatric surgery in a vacuum, patients can regain the weight. Yeah, so that's that's really cool that y'all are doing that. And this is a new program here anyway. So I think having a support group probably does a lot of good right, for this. Exactly. And I attend every support group. Wow, okay. All right, so what's up next here on Rem? From you. So then, you know, um, the lap band, okay, which is not done as much anymore, but I still think it has a place for the lower BMI patients. And um, this is actually a... Uh, Ooh, pulling out all is, kinds this of is, stuff. This is actually the band itself. It's made out of silicone. It goes around the upper portion of your stomach. 
It's adjustable. It has a little port that's under the skin that we can access in the office with a needle and inject fluid in it. And it makes it a little tighter around your stomach. Or conversely, we can withdraw fluid from it. It makes it a looser around your stomach. It is a very safe operation that can be done ambulatory. You can have this operation and go home the same day. It is one of the safest bariatric operations, but I think it works, it, it works the best in, like I said, the lower BMI uh, uh, weight class of people that maybe their BMI is between like 30 and 35, or roughly have maybe 50 pounds to lose. Gotcha. So how long can this stay inside this you? Can, this can stay forever. Forever? Forever. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So we have another one coming up, right? Right. The sleeve gastrectomy is the uh, <clears throat> newest of all the operations. And uh, the sleeve gastrectomy, uh, basically what you do is you take a stapler and you staple up and you create, you make your stomach, instead of being like a large sac, a thin tube. It is the most common operation done for weight loss surgery today. And it works because it removes the hormone that we had spoken about earlier called ghrelin. Ghrelin is that hormone that maintains your set point and when you uh, lose weight, the heart, your ghrelin levels go up to make you eat more, okay? But by removing a large portion of the stomach, we remove the ghrelin is produced in the stomach and we, and we remove a, a large portion of the ability of the stomach to produce that hormone. So patients uh, really like this operation because it really decreases their appetite significantly. And then because their stomach is smaller, they'll eat appetite sized portions but since they're not that hungry to begin with, they're very satisfied with that. And we get very good weight loss results from the sleeve gastrectomy also. How long has this been around? This is probably the sleeve gastrectomy has been done for probably 10 years now. Gotcha. Alrighty. Now what's our next one? I see we have right. a now, fun little device right. over here. Now, the, you know, we have the gastric balloon and the, uh, the gastric balloon, like I said, um, was done for a long time outside of the United States, but it's been introduced in the United States for the last three years. It is a non-surgical weight loss option. It's put in with a scope. It's deflated when it goes in. And then when we get it inside of your stomach, we pump saline, which is just a little salt water into it and, and inflate it to the size of maybe a small grapefruit. It, it yeah. lies. I'm like, I gotta <clears throat> hold on to this. Right. It lies in your stomach like this, takes up space, and fools your stomach into making you feel as if you've just eaten. Right? This is not permanent, though, however. It can only stay in for six months. And because of that, it's mainly made for the people that are in the lower BMI uh, um, range, maybe 30 to 35, maybe 40 okay who need just a little kickstart to give them incentive to keep the weight off so we can put this in and then at six months it's taken out endoscopically and then you have to try to do it on your own oh wow so and food can pass through there and, and food stuff can easily? pass through it this is an ambulatory procedure it probably takes 15 minutes to put in you're probably in the hospital altogether, maybe two hours and then you go home all righty anything else the folks at home need to know before we go, like you're a new doctor in town, right? Right, I'm a new doctor in town. And, um, you know, we're starting a new service line here at Duce Cooper Medical Center, a new bar comprehensive uh, bariatric uh, program to serve the community in Mount Pleasant. Exciting stuff. All right, well, thanks again for having me. And for more information, head online to eastcoopermedctr.com.